You know the trash compactor scene in Star Wars where Princess Leia says, it could have been worse, and Han Solo replies, it's worse. Harrison Ford impersonations aside, our heroes go from being under fire in a prison ward to falling into a cesspool of garbage. But wait, there's something alive down there, and the walls are closing in fast. Meanwhile, the only droids that can get them out of there are just about to get caught by the Empire. Everything is going wrong. While we know our heroes aren't going to become mincemeat, the audience is thrilled by this progression from bad to worse. And this is what is raising the stakes. I'm Kat Clay, a genre fiction author, and today I am going to take you through how to raise the stakes in your story. Raising the stakes is a writing term which comes from gambling. It's increasing the bet against the odds. It's exactly the same for your characters. The more the protagonist risks to get what they want, the more satisfying it is for readers when they win. But before you can raise the stakes, you need to know what a stake is. And I'm not talking about the Buffy the Vampire Slayer kind of stakes. A stake is something the character values. Which is why high stakes stories are so thrilling. There is the constant threat of loss of something that matters to the main character. The protagonist has placed their bet on the table and they might lose it. This could be the loss of an individual value, such as their career or business, a child, an animal companion, I mean, who can forget John Wick? A loved one, human life itself. You see this a lot in crime thrillers as well as disaster stories. And it could be even as existential as losing themselves, as in the case of films like Citizen Kane. Then there's also the threat of the loss of a conceptual value. Things like freedom, truth, justice, peace, goodness, all those really big picture concepts. Why it's really important to know these individual values and conceptual values for your character is that conflict always increases the stakes and the highest stakes are created when these individual values come into conflict with conceptual values. In the case of Star Wars, the heroes need to escape the Death Star in order to save the lives of many. Their key value is freedom from tyranny and they're willing to risk their lives in order to get it. This is why you need to establish what your character values first and then threaten it. To increase the stakes in your story, you really need to set up early on what your character values. This has to happen early in the narrative, otherwise the readers won't understand why the character is risking it all. You should create a scene that shows the protagonist's values on a small scale. Perhaps it's a parent playing with their child and helping them when they get hurt. Or a lawyer who values justice could right a small wrong, like a waitress not being tipped. Once you've established what the character values most, you must increase the threat to this value. Ask yourself, how can they lose the thing that they value most? How far will they go to get it? Who or what is threatening it? And does this change over time? You cannot be nice to your characters. Raising the stakes means putting your beloved characters in harm's way. It might also mean letting go of your favourite characters to show how high the stakes really are. Something that is really important to know is that stakes always go up, not down. You need to escalate the stakes. To escalate the stakes, you need to increase the threat of loss to the thing the protagonist values most. These obstacles need to increase in size as time progresses. It's no use risking your life in chapter 1 if chapter 40 is risking a dollar. Here's another example I've created to show you how easy it is to raise the stakes. The setup is this. Ex-thief Marion loves her son David. He's what caused her to turn her life around. But when her son drinks a glass of milk one evening, it's out of date because she can't afford groceries. It makes him sick. He's rushed to hospital for emergency surgery. Marion doesn't have the money to pay for the hospital bill, so she turns to some shady business acquaintances for the money. They then hold the child to ransom until she does one last job for them. See how the stakes ratcheted up from a simple glass of milk? We've established that she loves her son most in the world and would do anything to get him back, even risk her own life and identity. An easy way to think of raising the stakes is to think of the classic proverb. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a rider... Well, you get the picture. 
but it is exactly how you raise the stakes. Now I'm going to give you a little workshopping task. So I want you to have a really practical task to go away and do from this video. I want you to write down what your character values most. It could be a person, an object or a concept. Then make one small thing go wrong in their life. It could be something like they break a nail, they lose their keys, their phone battery is nearly dead. Jot down some points to see how far you can escalate the stakes for your character from this one small event. It's also important that you keep the stakes in proportion to your story. The world doesn't need to be ending for the stakes to be big. Stakes should escalate in proportion to the characters within the story. Even cozy stories like the recent fantasy book Legends and Lattes have stakes. The story is about an orc called Viv opening a coffee shop and while it's a feel-good novel, there's a chance that Viv might lose her coffee shop. We don't want that to happen because we know how important it is to her. Losing it means a return to the life of a mercenary, something she's tried really hard to move on from. It's not just a coffee shop, it's a symbol of her new identity. These stakes are large in proportion to the story, but obviously not in proportion to a Tom Clancy thriller. Once you've established what the character has to lose, you also need to know what they might win by risking it all. You need to know what they're willing to give up in order to win. In high stakes stories, the protagonist always pays the price for victory without sacrificing something they value for something even more valuable, the stakes have no meaning. Think of it as a balance sheet. For example, the heroes stop the shark, but many people are injured or killed. That's the plot of Jaws. John McClane stops the bad guys time and time again, but he sacrifices his marriage and family along the way. Imagine these stories if there wasn't a stake sacrifice. They stop the shark. Everyone's fine. The end. What a boring movie! In darker, more ironic works, the protagonist wins, but at a much higher cost. Inheritance dramas such as Succession and Game of Thrones examine the impact of what happens when someone risks too much for power. The stakes to control a powerful empire are already really high, but they get higher when people will compromise their own morality in order to get to the top. In these cases, the stakes are so high that the characters have sacrificed themselves and lost. These kinds of Pyrrhic victories are the hardest to pull off, but they can be the most satisfying to a reader or viewer. And sometimes, just sometimes, the protagonist can lose everything and still win. The worst happens, the stakes are insanely high and they lose what they value most. But in pursuing their ambitions, their identity changes. Turns out the thing that they valued most wasn't the thing that they needed. It's a Wonderful Life is a perfect example of this. The stakes are high because the audience knows that George Bailey already has a wonderful life. But in realizing his dream of never being born, Bailey realizes that what he valued most was right in front of him and he'll do anything to get it back. That's really high stakes right there. In conclusion, there are so many ways to raise the stakes in your story. Identifying the protagonist's values, bringing these values into conflict with the story and its characters, and making sure that there is a price to pay for victory are just some of the ways you can raise the stakes. As a writer, always ask yourself the question, what have your characters got to lose? And if the answer's everything, then the stakes are high enough. I'm Kat Clay, a Melbourne-based writer. If you enjoyed this, you want more writing tips and talk about storytelling, great games, great narrative design, please do hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.